Hello dear colleagues, I'm Alex from uh, Video Tool School and uh, in this video I want to try to have a reaction or to provide an answer to theories and Tor that uh, three hours ago left a comment on YouTube on a video published four hours ago by Gerald Andan um, video in which uh, Gerald um, is talking about uh, the Edelkron and the Rhino sliders and the motion control systems. More specifically in the case of uh, Rhino uh, about the ARC2 and uh, in the case of Edelkron about uh, the Head Plus. So, uh, in short, um, Theresa and Thor are saying I quote, this is disappointing by the other chrome. Is the motor strength issue very well known? I haven't read about it before in my research and was honestly baffled. That's the kind of thing that makes me want to rage all over forums. Um, the issue with the motor strength um, it's uh, in fact uh, referring to the capacity of uh, the Edelkron uh, slider motor, the motion module uh, V2, to drive the slider uh, while <coughs> it's inclined. So uh, it happens uh, to have a slider uh, Plus Pro Long and um, another Cron uh, Motion Module uh, V2, and I want to make a test. I never have done uh, this test before, but reading this comment, I realized that uh, in uh, lately on the internet there are much more videos uh, talking about the qualities of the products and too few. Uh, talking about uh, the reality of the products because uh, there is no such thing as a perfect product I feel that it's wrong to leave the impression that a product is perfect and to build some dream and high expectation for people that are working hard to get uh, the money to purchase those uh, products. And it's very, very sad because instead, instead of having a place uh, where we as user uh, can meet and share and be honest and in a way teach the producers, the companies to respect us and to understand our work and our needs and to comply to help us to be better and to do the things more easily we just uh, arrive to help companies to take our money without providing satisfaction just paying for dreams and living nightmares so um, without further ado let me uh, show you um, the test I prepared. I'm having a camera that is uh, shooting uh, my iPhone with a bubble level uh, application just uh, for us to notice the incline. Another camera that will shoot the movement of the slider. I already prepared the loop movement. It's true that uh, I'm not using the um, had uh, plus uh, pro I'm using uh, two head ones also um, I have a camera on the slider just to have a witness and to uh, have an idea of uh, how well is behaving the whole system the whole motion system uh, when the slider is an, in an inclined uh, position Okay, um, that's it. 
I think we can uh, start our little experiment. So this is the movement of the slider at zero degree incline. It's perfectly horizontal. All right. And now I will use some Harry Potter books. So it's uh, 4.5 degrees incline. And I will leave the motion continue, looping two times and trying not to move the floor, being a wooden floor. Okay, I think that's enough. I will add now another level of incline. I am moving the slider now. So oh, nine degrees of incline. The iPhone is sliding. One more. Looping movement. And now Let's add another level of incline. Twelve point five degrees of incline. And let's see if it can go further not yet but very soon now Thirteen point six and let's see another level. It's sixteen degrees of incline the motor is keep going one more loop So, 
16 degrees of incline. <laughs> Let's put back the So uh, this was uh, the today's test, um, or uh, better said, my reaction uh, to Therese and uh, Thor uh, comment on uh, the Gerald's Undone uh, YouTube uh, video. Uh, I hope that uh, it uh, is useful for them I hope that uh, it can be useful for uh, you too uh, thank you for watching um, if you have more questions uh, about head one uh, or uh, slider plus long uh, or the v2 um, modules uh, motion uh, module from edelcron I will be happy to answer um, I'm Alex from uh, Video Tool School channel and uh, until the next time I'm wishing you a beautiful, inspired and uh, productive day. Bye bye.